to Trey's Tabletop Cross Rip. I think this is episode six. I am Trey, uh, username Ghostbuster LMLII. Uh, welcome. Tonight we are going to be doing an unboxing of Monster Slaughter Underground, which was the first expansion put together uh, by Ankama Board Games for their core game, Monster Slaughter. So I've kind of laid out a couple of the pieces of the base game here. I will admit, this is a game that has seen the table fairly regularly with my group. Uh, it's a little fiddly. It's got a lot of pieces at the, you know, just to... To move, you got to make sure your card, your your card decks are built based on which monster family you're using. But once you get it set up and you get to play in, it plays really well. It's a lot of fun. It moves quick, and we have had a blast with it. So once you get it set up, kind of past the fiddly part. So in May of 2019, the Ancoma did their Kickstarter campaign for the expansion Underground, and it offers things like abilities for your or new yeah new abilities for your monster families uh, new minis that a special forces team to fight against the monsters a mini cannon a mini gun for that as well as a new basement room that would be kind of like an add-on to your board your, your cabin in the woods kind of a feel so as well as admittedly this is one of the things i'm most looking forward to are new doors so tonight what we're going to do we're going to be an unboxing of this and just this was for for show and hopefully to show off the new boards. Now, okay, so I just got this in today, so come on around. I will say when I got it in, the first thing I noticed is that the the inner box does not completely line up with the outer box, and I don't know how well. I, I tried to take a picture of it earlier. Uh, the picture didn't kind of do it justice, but you can see when I push down, like the the inside box mashes down, so it doesn't fully seem to line up with the outer box so I'm not sure what's up with that but whereas you know most of them are kind of tight when I pulled it out of the box and I you know pulled it out kind of like this I could feel my fingers sliding up underneath it and I flipped it over and you could see that that inner the inner box isn't level but we'll see now I will say that it's a little frustrating this was due to be delivered in May of 2020 and like I said I just got it today so I know that there were COVID backups stuff like that um, I don't think they kept the backers quite as informed as they could have over the process. In fact, I didn't even ever get a shipping notice for this. It just randomly showed up at the door today. I didn't know. I knew that they were supposed to spark, start shipping soon, but didn't know when, and here it is. So with that, and without any further ado, we will go ahead and open this up and take a look at what we got. So... Nice linen finish on the box still. Okay, so that is like the base game. That piece comes out. So. Okay, let's see what we got here. Rule book, it also adds new scenarios as, as well as the abilities. You've got a player aid which gives you the special abilities for each of the families and each of the special guests that may appear. Quick game rundown as you're playing through. Just a cardboard insert. Punch board. Uh, 9 a.m. Tokens. Lockbox. The stairs. This is how you get down to the basement. You punch out the stairs and put it out there on your main game board and so you can get down to the basement that way so now in here I've got an insert and just like with the core game the bottom of the actual box is your basement room so whereas the bottom of the core box is the outer walls of the cabin here the outer walls of the basement are the inner box so pick that out here you see your minis. You've got your two special forces, S and P. You've got the mini gun mini here. So, looks good. That is P. And then this one is S. If I can get it out. There we go. Looks like they did give us some nice spaces here on the insert for once you punch this board out, you've got some places to put those. So that is a nice thing to do. As one who is slightly OCD, I do appreciate a good insert that has a spot for everything. 
personal preference, I still personally think that the certifiable inserts made by Anthony Coffee are second to none, but I can appreciate those other companies that at least try. Um, here are the cards. So you've got your visitor cards. You've got weapons that they can use. It's like ecto goggles from Ghostbusters. I may be a little biased on that one, but all things found in the basement. And then this deck should have the monster the monster abilities that you can unlock such as that and points therefore so so these do have a different card backing so they after you play you can separate them out easy and put them back in their box there's a booby trap of the minigun and now these can be shuffled into the base game and they are different events and then more things here there so that's what we got there now for the thing that honestly I've been looking forward to it is taped so these ought to be the new plastic doors and barricades the original game came with cardboard and you see they slid on they were like this and they slid on over the places where the monsters can break through the doors. I only put two of them on here for tonight, but they just slipped on and off. The problem was they were really, really tight. And if you tried to separate them out so that you didn't tear up your base, they ended up just ripping apart like mine did. So the glue would just rip off the, the cardboard. And so you ended up with doors that were either too tight and you'd tear up the edge or ripped apart like that and just kind of flopped over. So, very much was excited about them adding these. So, now you have a nice plastic door. What is supposed to be plenty of space. So let's give it a shot and see if it works. And it does, it works very, very well. So, there you go. I am really excited about that. Plus, they look great. So, plenty of doors in here. More doors. Let's see here. Go ahead and go all the way through it. So, here we go. So, you can see the barricades. So, I can tell the difference. There's the door. The barricade has planked up wood and the chains across it. So, and the barricade ought to do just as well. Let's give it a try. That is great. So, that's what we have for the first expansion, Monster Slaughter, Monster Slaughter Underground. Uh, I look forward to getting this to the table. Like I said, my, my game group has really enjoyed this game and looking forward to the expansion. And I hope that um, if it's something that might interest you, you know, give them a look. I know that they should have um, some left that you can still pick up. There was a retail version of the game that uh, you should probably still pick up. It wouldn't have all the Kickstarter exclusive minis, but those are those are a fun add. If you can find those too, I highly recommend them. So if you've got any questions, feel free to post them below, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.